Okay, mates, I'm back. And we've got another one of Darcy's devotionals ready for you right now. We are still reading from the princess book, but it's not just for princesses. Okay, today we are reading from the book of 1 Samuel. Uh, that's actually in the Old Testament. So we're going old school this time. So how about I give it a go? Once, after they had eaten their meal in Shiloh, Hannah got up. Now Eli, the priest, was sitting on a chair near the entrance of the Lord's holy tent. Hannah was very sad. She cried much and prayed to the Lord, and she made a promise. She said, Lord of heaven's armies, see how bad I feel? Remember me. Don't forget me. If you will give me a son, I will give him back to you for all of his entire life. And no one will ever, ever, ever use a razor on his head. His hair won't ever get cut. Eli answered, go in peace. May the God of Israel give you what you asked of him. So Hannah became pregnant, and in time she gave birth to a son. She named him Samuel. She said, his name is Samuel because I asked the Lord for him. That's the book of the Bible. It's Samuel. Crazy. All right, so this is what it's about today. It's called Heaven Hears. Hannah had a problem. She wanted to have a baby. She knew she couldn't make it happen, but God heard her prayer and gave her a baby boy. What do you need for today? Do you need help being kind to your brother and sister? Do you need help being kind to your neighbor? Social distancing, six feet. Are you scared about everything that's going on in the world right now because it is craziness? Do you need help sharing Jesus with others? You can do it. Be bold. Be courageous. God is with you wherever you go. Joshua 1 verse 9. Do you need help obeying your mom and dad? I know my children do right now. Times are crazy. Well, God says, that he wants us to talk to him about everything. If there's anything on your mind, tell it to God. You can pray while you're walking, riding your bike, crocheting scrubbies, um, right in the car, on the bus, on the way to school, if we ever get back there. Wherever you go, God promises he's going to listen. Best of all, he knows what you really need. Even though his answer might not be what you expected, his way is always what's best for us. God will never do anything that is bad for us. Guaranteed. We need to always pray about everything. We should pray during the good times and even when we're going through some tough times. This teaches us to trust God. Prayer is an invitation for God to do his amazing work in our lives. And if you can remember being in Sunday school with me, I taught you that prayer is a spiritual discipline. Sometimes it's hard to do, but I promise you, the more you do it, the better you'll get and the closer you'll get to God. See y'all later.